My Visual C++ program is now booted up. I click on Windows Form Application, Visual C++. Give it a name. Click on OK. And here we go. Let's populate our form with controls. I go over to where it says Button on the toolbox, and I double click. Voila, I've got a button. Now I'll change this to Text Property. I click on this down arrow, and I'm going to change this to the word Go. There we go. Now I go to the Font Property of the Go button. I click on this button here with the ellipsis, and it brings me to the Font Dialog screen. I change this to Arial Black, Bold, 16 point, OK. Whoops, a little bit too big. Let's resize this. Ah, the way. It's OK now. Now I go to where it says Text Box in the Control Area, and I double click. Voila, I've got a text box. I go to the Font property of the text box, which is selected here. And I click on that uh, button over on the right. And I come to the font dialog screen again. Arial black, bold, 14 point, OK. And it's done. I go to a label, control box, double click. There we go. Auto size is true. Font is arial black, 14.25. And there we go. Let's program this button over here to take the name we put here in the text box and put it into here, too. The label 2 label. So, how do we do this? Double click on the Go button. And it brings you to, program, to the programming area. And specifically to the button one underscore click function. You click on button 1, it's going to do something. Let's tell it what to do. System, you've got a label 2 control. That's right. Now, it has a text property. Yeah, that's right, it does. I want you to make that equal to something else. Well, what do you want me to make it equal to? Well, you know that text box 1 that the guy that you have on the uh, form? Yeah. Well, it has a text property. Currently, there's nothing in it, but soon there will be when I run the program and I key in a name. When somebody puts a name in there and clicks on that button, take that text in text by form and assign it to the text property of label2. End your statement with a semicolon, and everybody's going to be happy. I now go to the top. It says Form1.hDesign. Click on that button, that tab. And it brings you back here. We're all set now. Let's save our file. And now let's, let's run the program. I get this dialog. This project is out of date. Would you like to build it? Yes, I would. So I click on Yes. And voila, here's our program. It worked. Well, let's put it to the test. We'll key in a name here, and then click on Go. OK, here we go. I key in Jorge Bull. And now I'm going to click on Go. And as soon as I do that, this will change up here. It says Label 2. It should move Jorge, copy Jorge, Jorge Bull to here. Let's see. Boom! Oh, it worked. Jorge Bull is now up in the Label, label Controls property, text property. Wow. Well, thanks for watching. This is George Ball. Bye-bye.